Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Lift Capital YouTube channel, where life is for the taking. It's your boy, Ted. Talk money. And I have for you, I have for you, another coin review. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a blessed weekend, another blessed Saturday, y'all. Look, as you know, on the daily, what we drop, what we drop, coin reviews, news, daily crypto news and insights. Okay. And look, for real, for real, I've been appreciating all the love that's been coming in, y'all. Head over to Twitter, give us a follow, give us a subscribe and a like if you haven't done so already. But look, we didn't did it. We took a poll, we asked y'all, do you think we should review Theta? Should we review Theta, guys? And we got, it looks like the majority says a yes. So let's get into it. What we have is a medium size I, I say a medium size market cap of course six billion in this in this industry is saying something but you know okay here it is <laughs> no but theta here at a six dollar valuation at a billion dollar circulating supply that's not bad uh year to date we're looking at a high uh back around march and april you were looking at a, a 13 dollar theta okay so really why i'm showing this is because this uh, right now, at this kind of price evaluation, even being up 10%, it's already halfway from its all-time high. Almost, you know, a little bit like uh, halfway from its all-time high. So when you see things like that, you have to consider all-time highs are just testing grounds. All right? This thing, like I said, been all, right, all, all the way up to $13, $14, so you already know it has room to grow. <sighs> Shout out to the people that was really into this, really into this project back then. And this really is a testament to a lot of the coins that you see now that are like 10, 6, 7 cents. Do you see? They will be dormant for a while. But look at how these cryptos move, man. Look at how these cryptos move. It was dormant for a couple years, probably because there was no business, um, no connections. But they stayed on. And if you held that theta, boom, $1, $2, $7, $12 in a matter of like two months or in a month. So, yeah, guys. Just the price action when it comes down to this crypto. But what is coin market cap saying that Theta is, right? Just firstly, they're saying that Theta is a blockchain powered network purpose building, purpose built for video streaming. So something like a YouTube. But look, y'all, there's Theta and there's also we're gonna talk about Theta Fuel. Uh, the native token, of course, for this network is Theta, but you need uh, kind of like you could think of it as gas, like e gas with Ethereum X. This is like Theta Fuel. So, for example, if you're um, on their uh, their TV app or using NFTs and whatnot, you can uh, produce Theta Fuel and um, just a lot of different things that allows uh, the uh, blockchain to operate and move. So, Theta Fuel is another thing too, and it's really cool to see a fuel token, another like native token towards something with a decent price to it. Again, look at how cheap this was back then. Um, in the beginning of the year in 2020, less than a penny. So yeah, guys, like if you guys are holding micro micro coins, don't lose hope. Take a look at how these cryptos move. They'll be flatlined dead for years until they go parabolic. And that's where a lot of the big money is made. A lot of the big money is really made here, right here. So, but enough of that, let's get into it. So the main that we have here of, uh, uh, of Theta, they just released their 3.0 main net. The Theta Network is a next generation video and entertainment blockchain powered by you, the people, not YouTube. See, the thing is with YouTube, it's a centralized thing. But let's look at some of these things that we have here. So the apps, Theta TV, okay, World Poker Tour, G Fuel, all of these, all of these here are streaming partners that are already linked up with Theta. You already have the co-founder of YouTube already speaking on the innovation of Theta in itself. One of our biggest challenges, he says, has been the high cost of delivering video to various parts of the world. And this problem is only getting bigger with HD, 4K and higher quality video streams. So to be a part of the next evolution of the streaming space, helping Theta create a decentralized peer to peer network that can offer improved video video delivery at lower cost. This is the co-founder of YouTube saying this. So it already has legitimate uh, legitimacy. They also allow you to join the network. If you want to be a node on the Theta network, they give you that option. 
Okay, so you can earn T fuel by staking some of your theta, locking some of your theta up um, if there's a lockup period, but while it's staked in there, you're earning your T fuel. And then that's on a guardian node. If you wanna use an edge node, you can put your T fuel in there and earn even more of it. But let's get to the real meat, the real exciting part. Google is a node in itself already. They're a validator node. They validate this network and blockchain, just like how you have HBAR partnered up with Google as well and FIS. These, these companies, these big conglomerates, these enterprises, they know that the future is already in decentralized distributed ledger technology, DLTs. So Google, Sony, Samsung, they're, they're linked up with Theta. They're linked up. They're a node already on the network. So Theta has been mentioned a few different places here in the news. I know that Forbes, yep, Forbes will come around right there. Um, some good things. So they explain also here, what's the problem right now with live video streaming today? You got poor quality, uh, 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 user demand needs. They want, everybody wants 4K, everybody wants 8K. And the centralized and inefficient system. When you have a centralized platform, video, you know, video platform right here, everything from that platform, its system is only going to be centralized. So everything that the viewers see, it's going to come only through this centralized system. So the solution, decentralize it, make it peer to peer, person to person. When I'm making my video, I'm actually um, I'm sharing it with real people and not just through YouTube, for example. So what they're doing is they're allowing you to earn rewards while you watch these videos. The person that makes it is getting paid and you're getting paid to watch videos. Plus, it gets higher quality, smooth video streaming, reduced costs for delivering that video streaming. So that's the solution. Data comes in and presents all of these things. Plus, you have all of these video platforms right here. Samsung VR, like we saw earlier, Samsung is a node for Theta. But the video, the video platforms that they're offering here, Samsung VR is one of them. Theta.tv, we'll, we'll get a little bit more into that as well. But again, it's an open source platform, open source protocol. Everybody can hop on it. People can make their own decentralized apps on it. Um, from esports, music, TV, and movies to distant learning to peer to peer live streaming. Power the next generation entertainment. Everyone's going to be about streaming, streaming. So, yeah, guys, really good stuff. Um, it's built to power decentralized video delivery. It's decentralized YouTube, <laughs> basically. If you if you want to create videos and whatnot, and then you can, you can get paid to watch them. People uh, getting paid to watch them. The monetization to get monetized on these kind of platforms aren't as strenuous as it might be with YouTube. This here is more so for people to people. But look, so these are a couple of the founders of the leadership here. Um, a couple guys went to MIT uh, as a PhD in computer and engineering. So of course this is a startup, it's a project, but as you can see, it has a bit of an Asian persuasion, which is okay, because the co-founder of YouTube is Asian. So awesome stuff, uh, uh, a big um, list of investors. So yeah, oh, and I want to show you guys this. Like I said, the co-founder of YouTube was speaking on this. You have the head of ventures for Sony, he was speaking on it the co-founder of Twitch. These are all video streaming platforms. They know about this. They know that this is innovation. Microsoft, Verizon, some real, real names. Look, MGM, Lionsgate, World Poker Tour, even Katy Perry's linked up. Yeah. So this is going somewhere. This has a lot of room to grow. A lot of room to grow. As more and more people are staying at home, streaming, doing what they want for videos, likes, shares, all that stuff, you're gonna wanna at least get paid for watching it and as well get paid for creating it. And you don't have to go through Google and YouTube, centralized uh, platforms. So uh, just real quick to touch on the, uh, the roadmap uh, going forward, uh, they, they uh, released the app for Ledger that came out, um, uh, the Theta Drop, Theta Drop, we're gonna talk about that. Uh, and then they're going to drop a new, they're going to drop a new token here, the T drop token, which is basically like a, um, a DAO, a, a decentralized government governance token, uh, for the theta network. So it's more and more of the community controlling it. And, um, 
uh, decentralized storage on elite edge nodes for NFTs. So that's all, that's all really good. So what I want to show you guys as well is Theta Drop. Theta Drop, as you guys know, NFTs are popping up left and right, but whose network do you want to be on? Okay. Whose, whose fees do you want to pay? Whose prices do you want to pay? So Theta has their own NFT marketplace, Theta Drop. Okay. So let's look at that. So Theta Drop, fast, cheap, green, and powered by the Theta Network. Really what I'm noticing with these new marketplaces, guys, is that these other coins, other than Ethereum, for example, I see Matic marketplaces, um, Stellar marketplaces, Theta marketplaces. Look at these prices, okay? They're not that bad, but they're reasonable because you're not paying ETH gas prices, okay? If you're on Ethereum, on OpenSea, for example, and you're selling something for, let's say, $60, but for you to get the money off of it, it takes 300 bucks, of course you're going to sell that thing for $700. You see? Because you have to pay to play. It's not even playing. It's even a win. You got you to gotta pay to get your winning. So, yeah, I personally have a little bit of a problem with Ethereum. I personally think its days are numbered. We'll see. But anyway... Uh, but yeah, these are a couple of the NFTs that we see here. They're not bad. I want to show you guys, of course, the marketplace in itself. Um, a couple series I'm seeing that's through it. But go ahead and uh, head over to Theta Drop. They do have a NFT marketplace. So a few things about the partnerships. MGM Studios brings Hollywood classics to Theta.tv, powered by uh, the Theta Network. Uh, so here, Theta.tv is the next-gen esports video platform powered by Theta Blockchain and has finalized a commercial licensing agreement with MGM Studios for rights to stream classic movies from MGM's film library through the summer of 2020. So yeah, that was just, you know, that was some big news there. They had partnered up on Theta TV. And just to show you guys uh, really quickly, uh, real quick... Uh, with Theta TV, I'll just put that, uh, yeah, yeah, Theta TV, guys, so basically, just, this is a little bit of it, it right here, um, it's kind of like, you know, they're starting out, that this is like their YouTube platform, so basically, what I can do is start watching some of these videos and earn T Fuel for uh, doing that, and then you can work out making a channel for yourself and stuff like that, so... With Lionsgate, for example, just how MGM, with Lionsgate, they become the latest uh, Hollywood studio to bring content to Theta, uh, to the Theta network. And they go on to say uh, Lionsgate's portfolio includes the Stars portfolio, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but Lionsgate will kick off on Theta.tv streaming with movie night screenings of the mainstream hits, blah, blah, blah. And that's running through the summer of 2021. So they, they partner up and they... They allow uh, people to watch movies on Theta TV, which is an awesome, great thing. Uh, and then the last thing here is Theta Network brings real-time NFTs to the World Poker Tour. As World Poker, World Poker Tour has been with Theta, the Theta Network for a very long time, for a while. And they seem to really trust them with the streaming and play, and watching with the Poker Network. So um, our exclusive NFT launch with the Theta Network is one of our biggest digital initiatives to date. And for the first time, Ever, we're combining our global reach of live televised poker with an NFT marketplace, giving our fans interactive real time opportunity to collect a piece of the WPT poker action. So, yeah, guys, they boast over 140 million viewers over on uh, World Poker Tour. So, yeah, Theta is definitely doing their thing. But, yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys coming by, checking out this uh, review. A couple of the marketplaces where you can get Theta. You can grab it on Binance, KuCoin, Huobi. Theta's pretty much everywhere, ev almost everywhere. Guys, I know you can definitely get it on your trust wallet if you're only working off of the mobile. But if you haven't done it already, give me a like and subscribe. I am a digital asset investor, not an investment advisor, okay? You do your own research. None of this is financial advice. But, hey, look. We talk money and we live capital, okay? And you have to understand that life is for the taking. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Peace.